I'm back with another video. If this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Joe. Make sure to hit that subscribe button before we get started. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Make sure to show me some love down in the comments. Well, for today's video, I will be showing you guys how I clean and change my nipple ring. I made this video a year ago and some people are not satisfied that I didn't show them. Even though I was walking through the steps, I'm not sure what you want me to see. Like, if you wanted me to pop my titty out on the table, like, I'm not sure um, where we were going with that. But, so I'm going to do an updated one, give you some tips and tricks, some do's and don'ts. Two nipple rings right here. This is like the standard one that you get pierced with, and then I have a different one. So the way that I'm going to show you, which I feel like it should be satisfying to everyone, is I'm going to just hold it out like this and act like my two fingers is my nipple. So that's what I'm gonna do and then so show you guys step by step of how I would clean it if it was attached to, you know, the girl. In order for you to change and clean your nipple piercing, you need the cleaning part down. So um, you can either buy this from the any so Walmart, any like um, Hot Topic, Spencer's, any like Pearson Pagoda, or I'm sure Amazon, you could literally get this anywhere. I think this one was like $15, or you can do what I did. I got this um, spray and it like spritzed out. So let's see if you can see it. Oh, that was a waste of a spritz. Can't see it. So I spritzed out um, and I made this sea salt solution myself. I'll pop the measurements that I use on the screen it's the same thing this one is just store-bought and this one is homemade and this one probably costs three dollars like i said i mean i feel like this is my nipple i feel like this is the easiest way for me to do it so um first some do's and don'ts obviously if it's a fresh if you freshly got a pierce we're not we're not we're not changing it if it's freshly pierced we're not changing it if there's an issue with you know the bar being too short um or anything like that or if it's irritated i would highly recommend you going back to a piercer a piercing professional so they could take a look at it i wouldn't change it before it's time you know for you to change it because it's just gonna irritate it and hurt even more than it needs to be you don't really want to touch the if it's freshly you don't really want to play around with it touch it with dirty hands you don't want to be moving the piercing around because it needs to heal so the more that you move it the more irritated it could possibly be so when you're cleaning it you really don't need to be like moving the piercing itself spray and then just spray this side or you could clean it which is my favorite i love to clean it in a shower soak it in some warm water every time I, I take a shower i clean my piercing because i mean i've had it for i don't know maybe 10 years now but i make sure every time i'm in the shower make sure i clean it up and that way that there you no know, crust builds around it nothing like my my piercing have not given me any issues i'm gonna use this as um as if it's my piercing like if this is the one I have and I want to change it to this one. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so the first step is obviously clean it because you don't want to change it while it's dry because um, that's going to hurt. Spray it. Just spray it so that it's nice and soaked so that, you know, it has moisture. So when you're changing it, it's not dry. Make sure that your hands are clean before you touch anything in. Um, obviously, you can wear gloves, but whatever you prefer to take off the ball. So I always find that it's harder to take it off with like my bare hands, it's just harder. Um, so I even like to use gloves, which I'll show you. Um, I just feel like it adds, um, you know, is it friction? Yeah, I just feel like it adds friction and it's way easier to take it off. So Okay, so I'm literally just twisting it. Obviously I'm holding, like, um, my two fingers would be in my, uh, you know if it was in my thing and here's the ball so that's one way you can do it okay I'm gonna put it back on all right and the next way you could do it which somebody commented on my video so I just wanted to show you guys and it actually worked weird but get some tape so I have a piece of tape and you want to just put it on the ball 
of the piercing not on your skin just on like the edge so let's see if you can see it yeah so it's literally just on the ball wrapped around the ball and I'm gonna um, just use it to hold on to this and twist it and there you go Shout out to the person that commented that. So the next step obviously will be to putting the new piercing in. If the old piercing is the same size as the new one, like you know how they have like different gauges, 16, 18, 20. Whatever you got pierced with, usually that's the same size you get with the new jewelry that you buy. So the first trick, if the ball that you have is the right length and is not irritating you, literally it can fit on. So these are two different ones, but from two different places. But since they are the same size gauge, I all I have to do is put um, the new ball on. And I can do that same thing with this one. So if I wanted to um, unscrew this and put this new ball in, focus. Yeah, so put the new ball in. If I want to do that, boom, I would literally have a new piercing without even taking the bar out. Because most of the time, I believe that they're, um, both of these can untwist. I believe that's what it is for the most part. So if it's the same gauge, then the hole to the, that connects it should fit. Okay. But say it doesn't for some reason and you just want to, or if you just want to change the piercing out completely yourself, then this is what you'll do. You have to do, I'll see the new one has to be clean as a precaution even if you took it just out the packaging you want to make sure that it's clean and say this is the hole you will line up the piercing with the new and the old piercing line it up and then literally you would just push it through like this obviously i don't want this to fall and then it'll go through the hole so you'll push it through the whole time and then a new one would just slide right into place. And then at that point, you just put in, in. So let me just turn it so I can put it in. All right, so it would be it. And then that would be your new piercing. So those are the two ways that you can do it. I hope you guys found this video more helpful. I mean, you had demonstrate. I mean, I don't know what other way could I show you without actually having my nipple out. So I literally demonstrated to you also, for some reason, if you just can't get the jewelry out, like if none of these tips work to get the ball off, you can literally just go back to the piercer and, or any piercer and they will be more than happy to, you know, change it out for you. I mean, they that's what they do. Um, so if you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Hopefully you guys found it. I mean, you saw everything. So hopefully you guys find this one more helpful. If you have any other tips and tricks that can help people out, please comment them down below. I'm sure everyone would appreciate it and I'll see you guys in my next video.